Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for Sagittarius. This is for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the week of March 8th through the 14th, okay? So let's just see what comes up. What do we have for Sagittarius? Keep in mind the timing is fluid and not every reading is for you. So what do we have for Sagittarius, please? What do we have? Indecision. So you have a choice to make. It's probably a tough decision. You may be at a crossroads. You know, there could be something that is stopping you from making a decision. You're in a tough position. You can choose to go back to something or you can choose to move forward. You can go down the path you've always went down. You could go down another path. What are you going to do? Okay. Um, so, yeah, I feel like you're, you're probably... Um, needing to make a tough decision this week so be prepared for that something you know this something's probably going to come up that um makes you stop and think you're going to have to stop and think what do i want to do you know what do i want to do now you know um you obviously can go down the path that you've never been down or you can go down the path that feels most familiar to you that choice is going to be yours so what do we have for Sagittarius? One card, please. These cards are so big. King of Swords or King of King of Blades. So judgment call. You're definitely gonna have to make a judgment call. Some of you could be dealing with a law this week, something to do with court. Doesn't have to be, but I do believe that this is making an informed decision. You're going to be receiving some information or some sort of facts that, that were, are going to help you to make a decision. Okay? No doubt about it. You're, and this is challenging information. So, you know, I do believe that you are going to have to be wise. You're going to have to use integrity and you're going to have to listen, you know, and really pay attention to the facts this week. Um... So yeah, you're, you're definitely going to be making a decision that is it's probably difficult. It's going to be, a, it's a life-changing decision, okay? It really is. Um, so yeah. Could be dealing with a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Um, could also be dealing with an Aries or I think it's Libra because they got that card as well. Um, either way. This is this when you get the King of Swords, you're going to be put in a tough position, okay? Or you're dealing with somebody else that is making a decision. They could be making a decision for you. The King of Swords can represent somebody in a position of authority, somebody that is in the law, you know, that works for the law. That this could be, you know, a judge, it could be somebody in protection services, it could be, um, police officer you know this is somebody that is very professional very skilled at what they do that is making a decision okay based on some sort of evidence because there's evidence here so there's there's a there's a there's a, there's a uh, tough decision that is being made whether it's you or somebody else that is making it for you you know this could be the law that is making the decision Or somebody is in a position of authority. Some of you could be dealing with a judge, a father, somebody in law enforcement, somebody in the military. You know, whatever this is, this is about making a fair and just decision as well. Six of Pentacles. And the Six of Pentacles is about give and take. It's about receiving. It's about um, generosity. It's about um, getting what you deserve. It's about balance. Somebody is going to be receiving something. They're going to be receiving something. Um, after they've been neglected, I think they've been neglected, but it's, it's time to receive, you know, it's, maybe it's help. Ace of Cups reversed. Seven of Pentacles. Knight of Wands reversed. Two of Wands, King of Cups reversed, Four of Cups, 
On the bottom of the deck, we have the Knight of Swords. So we've seen this card a few times. This is help arriving. There is some sort of help arriving. Um, this is a knight in shining armor that comes to save the day, right? That's what it looks like to me. There could be a sudden arrival. There could also be a sudden departure here this week. This is a spur of the moment decision, and this one is what to. So you, you're going to be making a spur of the moment, or somebody in your circle or around you is going to make, be making a spur of the moment decision. This card and this card are basically the same card okay so this is being at the crossroads you know uh not knowing what you want to do i feel like that's where you've been you've been in a state where you know there's you you've had to make a decision but there's been some sort of uncertainty as to what decision that you uh should make there's definitely two paths here and i feel like this week it's all coming to a head where you're it's almost like you're being forced to make this decision you know you got to choose what do you want to do what do you want to do? Do you want to uh, continue to invest in this dead end? Or do you want to relocate and go someplace else? Do you want to plant your seeds someplace else? I feel like something that you planted some time ago is coming to fruition this week. And I feel like you're going to be in your emotions. I feel like this is emotional overload. You may be feeling overly emotional this week. Um, I do think that you have something that you are interested in. I feel like there's been a missed opportunity or a lost opportunity that has been ignored. This may be coming back around or something like that. And now, you know, you have a choice to make. Do you want to, do you want to take this new opportunity? Do you want to go here? What do you want to do? So this week is going to be a week of, of indecision over having to make a choice that I feel like you have to make the choice right now. It's time. It's time for the verdict, right? It's time to make this life changing decision. Um, some of you have been dealing with somebody that is emotionally unavailable or they don't have good intentions. Um, there could be, there could be um, some sort of fear here with the Knight of Wands reversed. Fear of opening the heart, you know, fear of falling in love, fear of getting in a commitment or something like that for some of you. Um, that could, that could be a big deal. Fear. There's fear. Fear of going down the path, the unknown path. So I feel like this week you're going to be in your emotions. We could have somebody here that drinks a lot, you know, there could be, or there could be an, you know, I don't know if there's an addiction here that may make somebody not know their value or not know their, not have any confidence or low self-esteem. I'm not sure if we have low, low self-esteem here. Maybe I'm, I'm not good enough, you know, I'm not good enough. So somebody may be thinking that they're not good enough. Um, maybe they've, they, they need to, um, have some sort of confidence. You are good enough. I do believe that, uh, this is a week of um, needing to follow your intuition, but there's ignoring the intuition as well. So if somebody's been ignoring their intuition, I feel like you know what path that you need to go down, but you're stuck. There's some sort of something in the way, and maybe it's the past. Maybe it's fear. Maybe there's low self-esteem, low self-confidence. It's like I'm not, I, I, I keep... I keep hearing or feeling I'm not good enough. I'm not good enough. Yes, you are good enough. I, I feel like you have an opportunity to invest in something that can grow. It can grow into, uh, you know, probably a new life or something abundant. But I don't, I don't, I think that you're really, really thinking. It's like you're in a, a place of thought where you're just really uncertain of what you should do. Um, unable to master emotions or follow your heart in some way. Um, but I do think that you need to make a judgment call. I think that you have some sort of information or a new opportunity to invest in something that could make you really, really happy with that four of cups reversed. I think that, you know, maybe somebody ignored an opportunity or, you know, uh, didn't want an opportunity. They didn't want this opportunity because I think it's because of fear, fear of the unknown. But I feel like this week, there's, I feel like there's going to be a, a re-examination, re-examination of the facts or something like that. So this, this could be a week where there's some sort of re-examination of um, whether you should go someplace else or whether you should do this or whatever. I think that you've been in a very messy situation where there's been some, a lack of success. 
and I feel like you maybe you threw something away or didn't want something because you were focused on uh, it feels like you are looking at what you have to offer. It feels like you don't feel like you have enough to offer, but you do have enough to offer. You have an opportunity for equality, for equal give and take, for reciprocation, to get what you deserve in life, but you're going to have to invest in it. And it feels like you are, you're not investing. It feels like you're stuck, you know, you're stagnant. And I think that you're stagnant because of... Um, well, it's obviously uncertainty and fear of the unknown. It is definitely fear of the unknown. Um, but with the Four of Cups reverse, this is an opportunity that probably should be taken. It's time to look forward now. Now that's that's being coming interested in something new. With that Seven of Pentacles, I think that you have a new interest here that you should invest in. So I feel like uh, you're probably going to be in your emotions this week. You know, I think it is definitely going to be an extremely emotional week because I feel like you're in your, you're feeling um, like you have to make a life changing decision. And I think it's scary. I do think it's a scary one, whether you want to go or whether you want to stay, whether you, whether you want to invest in this new opportunity that is looking at you. It feels like it's right in front of you and, and you're interested in it. It's almost like you want it. Anyhow, um, that seven of pentacles is, you know, this is a dead end. This is a dead end right here. It is. This is like where the season is over. This time is up. It's time to go someplace else. But it's emotional. It's extremely emotional. This is a shutting down. Somebody may be shutting down their, their feelings or not opening their heart, not following their gut as well, not following their intuition, protecting the heart maybe even. Um, somebody may have withdrawn, you know, they have withdrawn their their emotions from a situation to protect themselves. And I think it's because of low self-esteem. I do. Low self-confidence, you know. Um, fear. Fear of, of getting hurt. Fear of not getting the reciprocation. Um, but anyway, I do believe that there's going to be some sort of change this week because eights are change and, and twos are too. Twos are choices and they are also change. In regards to probably a partnership. And this partnership could be with anybody. It could be, I don't know if it's with a father or it's with a lover or who it is. There's going to be a change in a, in a decision that needs to be made in regards to a partnership. Um, and it's about getting what you deserve. Going after what you deserve. Um, there could be some sort of emotional loss here as well. With the Ace of Cups reversed and the King of Cups reversed. Um... And that may that may um, make you feel restless. This, it does feel like this is a restless behavior. So you may be feeling restless uh, this month. Um, this is uh, doesn't want responsibility at, as well. So we may have somebody here that doesn't want responsibility. You know that um, maybe doesn't think before they act typically but now i think you're in thinking mode i definitely feel thinking 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 about uh what you want um anyhow i do think there's been some sort of neglect this is it's over it's time to go someplace else it's time to invest in something else i think there's a lot of hard work ahead and i feel like you're interested in investing in something and i think it's after a re-examination a re-examination of evidence or the truth or the facts i i also feel like somebody somebody has probably made a poor choice They've made a poor choice and they may have some sort of regrets for making that poor choice. And that's what's sparking this thought, you know, this re-examination. Um, so anyway, I feel like you're going to really be in your emotions this week. You may There could even be some tears that, sh that are shed. I don't know. Some, for some of you, this may have to do with a father figure. Um, 
But the Six of Pentacles is about give and take. It's about equality. It's about reciprocation. It's about receiving. Somebody has an opportunity to receive, you know, some help, you know, because that is receiving help after they've been neglected in some way. But it will require um, a starting over. I feel like it's starting over, starting from scratch. Because the Seven of Pentacles, you have to replant. You have to plant seeds. You have to cultivate. You have to nurture. You have to grow. You have to take care of it. You know, So something does need to be taken care of this week. Um, and I think there's time here. It will take time for something to grow. Um, it's time to look forward now. And I think you are going to be... Uh, investing in something new i do i do I, some of you this could be a job offer a new job offer it could be a relocation moving to a new place for some of you um whatever is happening you're probably gonna have to make a decision this could be a spur of the moment decision very sudden extremely sudden okay a sudden decision that you know you're maybe you're not prepared to make this decision you know maybe you're not but this does have to do is with, with receiving help of some sort with that six of pentacles that is definitely getting help and this is help as well with this knight of swords that's help this is this is help arriving right we have somebody here that needs help this person needs help you know and we do have an arrival so there is you know this could be like i said a sudden departure a sudden arrival and I think it's I think it's so sudden that it's scary. You know, it's scary. It is. It, you think about this. Okay, say you're this person and you're, it's like, should I do it? Should I go? Should I? Should I? I mean, I could get myself into a bad situation. But if I stay here, you know, I could, you know, die alone. So what are you going to do? You know, so you have to make a spur of the moment decision. You know, do you, do you stay in this situation and, you know... <laughs> Or do you take a risk? You know, do you take a risk? I think this is very, very risky. You know, and go with somebody that, you know, you don't even know. You know, whatever the case is. So anyway, I feel like this week, you're going to have to make a spur of the moment decision. And I feel like uh, it's scary. I do see fear. Um, and this, this, this may be traveling to a place you don't know. You know, going, moving, you know, something like that. Um, somebody may be presenting you with some sort of opportunity to relocate or to move in with them or to start a relationship or a partnership because this is definitely about a partnership, you know, and, and you may not have been interested in the past. You, maybe you missed the opportunity or you said no, and I think that you should re-examine. Good luck.